And the beat goes on for Rodney Sanders and the entire Swan Racing number 20 team as it was another night of USMTS Silver Dollar action and it was another win for Sanders. He has now swept both of the two night shows for the past three seasons, giving him six total wins here in Silver Dollar Nationals competition. Jason Hughes ran a good race, pushed forward late. There was all kind of theatrics throughout the course of the main event. Let's talk to Rodney Sanders following the race about his thoughts on the 35 lap, 3,000 to win main event. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, we had a good car for sure, but it, the, the yellow definitely played out where we needed them. But, uh, you know, like I said, this car has just been, you know, rolling pretty good. This is a, a newer car. We haven't raced it a whole lot. We're just kind of, you know, getting it out and trying to get it going good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't do without all the help from all my guys for sure. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, this for this racetrack is just awesome. Do you ever talk to yourself when you race? Uh, I, I try not to. I sometimes cuss at myself. I'm messing up, but uh, I, I try I try to keep that to a minimum. So you probably had to let out some kind of uh, some kind of yell there. I mean, Phillips and Payne were running each other's guts out, and you just came right up in, whoop to the top, back to the middle. I'll take the lead. I mean, that's that's getting it done. Yeah, I mean, both of those guys were good, and you know, I was kind of searching early in my car. I thought it was pretty good everywhere, and then. Uh, no, I, I don't even remember. I think Phillips was on the bottom, Payne was on the top, and you know our car was good, just right through the middle, and ended up, you know, just rode through that middle good and got by both of them. So the last six Silver Dollar Nationals, the last three years, you swept that. Is that? I mean, that that's kind of unreal. Yeah, it's just kind of, I mean, mind-boggling, really. I mean, uh, I couldn't. I don't know. I, you know, last year I thought, man, that's pretty cool to win four, and then I, I didn't think there was no way possible. I was, I was going to be happy we could just win one of these, but. Uh, you know, especially coming from 13th, I mean, uh, I, I knew we had a good car. I thought we could get maybe the top five, but, I mean, we got there pretty early. So I was kind of really surprised that we could, you know, actually get up there that quick. Either not quite as fast, about the same, or a little bit faster. Where, where do you think you're at right now in terms of your speed last year compared to this year? Man, I, I don't really know. I mean, it's, I, I think if we're probably not far off, if, if anything, from last year. Um, we, I mean, this just one of my favorite tracks. I mean, I think we kind of got a good setup here. I mean, I don't know what we'll be like anywhere else, but we've been, you know, kind of playing with some stuff, and it's been working pretty good. So I think we're definitely in the ballpark from where we were for sure. Tell us about your preparation for Deer Creek. It'll be a short week, but um, heck, you could probably run it tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we got a, our other car at the shop. We got to finish it and get it ready. That way I can have a spare. So. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do, but uh, I think we should be able to get it all done. We're going to, I guess, we'll go around Tuesday, so uh, you know, it'll be a short week, but it uh, should be fun.